Well, I'd like to follow up then on what you've just raised in terms of the driver program and ask you a question on the fusion economy. Um, just to mention, currently there's an international conference on fusion power occurring in uh, Spain, which has brought together over 500 of the world's top fusion scientists and engineers. And the conference is the 11th International Symposium on Fusion Nuclear Technology. Uh, such symposiums have been held every two to three years, bringing together these groups of scientists since 1988, with the goal of fostering collaboration among scientists and engineers working on fusion power. The hosts of this year's conference in Spain announced that the purpose of the symposium is to focus on, quote, both near-term fusion devices and long-term reactor technologies with special attention to science, engineering, experiments, facilities, modeling, analysis, design, and safety. The symposium included presentations by leading fusion scientists from South Korea, China, Japan, Russia, India, the United States, Europe, as well as leaders of the International Fusion Project, the ITER, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, that's currently being constructed in France. Now that being said, uh, the development of the peaceful use of thermonuclear fusion and the technologies that will be available to mankind that would come along with it, this is an effort which you have been spearheading for decades. Uh, since the original founding of the Fusion Energy Foundation in 1974 and the accompanying International Journal on Fusion Energy. Uh, throughout the 1980s, you and the FEF sponsored international conferences around the world on fusion, bringing together these leading scientists for the necessary dialogue. Now, currently, the Basement and 21st Century Science and Technology have just published a new report entitled Nuclear Nawapa 21, Gateway to the Fusion Economy. We've revived the campaign to win the political fight for fusion. In discussions yesterday with members of the scientific research team, you said, without thermonuclear fusion, mankind has no future. Now we open the report with a call for an international Manhattan Project style collaboration and crash program with the leading scientists from around the world to achieve and conquer fusion. So I would appreciate it if you can make some remarks. <clears throat> the problem is, is that since the early 1970s, but particularly since 1980, 82, the what has happened is the fusion program, the, or the real nuclear power program, has been shut down. It's been shut down in two areas. It's been shut down increasingly in the area of, of simple uh, nuclear power, simple fission power. Uh, that's ended. You've just seen the virtual completion of the entire shutdown in, of the economy of Japan. And there's no way that Japan can continue to live if it continues that policy. Right? That's, and that's the problem in most parts of the world. The fact that we don't have any productive flavors. Now, this is in part, it's inevitable. Because if you know the difference between mankind and an ape, which some people in government seem not to know. You know? In matter of fact, the apes are in blush and embarrassed when every time they bring up men these days <laughs> for that, just exactly that reason is that mankind is the only species of its nature. We seem to look like monkeys. Some people behave like monkeys, and sometimes the monkeys are embarrassed to, know, to acknowledge them as cousins. But in, in the problem here is that it is inherent that mankind is the only species that has the willful power to increase its productivity. So therefore, you ha it's the, and the, this means that as you go from simple, you know, long time ago in Southern Africa, we know we have spotted cases where there are people that were, someone who said they're monkeys or they're baboons or gorillas or something. You know? And if they would find in some of these areas, they would find actual baboons and so forth, or baboon like creatures, gorilla like creatures and so forth. And this is the South African way where, where they got the best reports on this kind of stuff. But you had also, one other kind of ape-like looking thing. 
And what it did in all of its sites that are notable, this monkey, who is not a monkey, used fire to cook his food and similar things. Now from that point on, which is a couple million years ago, if so, uh, from that point on, we found that this species, which we now call human, which is characteristically based on fire, all kinds of fire. It starts out with simple fire, and it goes up the scale of chemistry to every increasing every energy flux density. Uh, we have now come to a point where we're dealing beyond anything that mankind knew before in terms of ordinary chemistry. We're now in the vein of thermonuclear fusion. If this means that the existence of the human species, the continued existence of the human species, now requires the utilization on a massive scale of thermonuclear fusion. We don't use coal anymore, and that's the principle. We, we still use coal. But we are going up to the level of chemistry so that the composition of human activity is based on increasing levels, in, you know, like, like species types, you know, which are a higher order of density. Now, if we're going to live, we are, have now entered a period of time where henceforth the minimum requirement is going to be based the inclusion of a driver program, which is based on thermonuclear fusion. Uh, so we have naturally come to a point, as I've noted this thing, that we're now going to the point from the Mississippi River edge, uh, especially down from where the Missouri comes into the Mississippi. Uh, this is the area of the drought area now. It goes all the way down from that, that zone, and a similar thing happens on the coast, coastal mountain ranges of California. So now we're having a general collapse of this type. So now we what we have to do is we have to have a driver program which increases the energy flux density of water. Uh, we have to process water with higher density, driven essentially at bottom by thermonuclear fusion. Now, the problem. What has happened since, since my period of, get, of dealing with this issue back in the 1970s? What has happened since that time, especially since the advent of the 1980s, there's been a consistent driving down of the energy flux density in the U.S. and European economies. So the, what happens is, though we do have thermonuclear fusion experiments, we don't have ones that can come to a conclusion. Why? Because the governmental system, including the British system, will not let us organize on the level of energy flux density of applied fusion products in order to make this thing work. If we do the right thing, and if we stop this nonsense, about suppressing thermonuclear fusion, then we are going to be create the greatest system of growth that mankind has ever known. And it will be created in a region largely from west of the Mississippi, all the way across the ocean by way of Alaska and the Bering Straits into, in, into China and other parts of Asia. Also, we'll get the Carl Canal built and that will change the whole character of, of that part of the world. So we will then take with very simple kinds of conceptions, simple in terms of categories. And these categories will ensure us that mankind is going to achieve things which mankind needs. And the point is, as contrary to these stupid people, these brutish stupid people who believe in the green policy, the green policy, if it continues, will be the death of mankind. We have to crush the green and get back into real stuff. And what's required is the, hist the history of man, the history of the biology of man, from something like a, a, a gorilla, looking something like a gorilla in South Africa, but using fire for his subsistence. From there, man has continued the process of progress, not always consistently. The oligarchical system has arisen and crushed this kind of thing. But now we've come to the point where humanity will not exist. 
for much longer without the benefits of full scope thermonuclear fusion. That has to be our destiny, our immediate destiny. Now I shan't be around to, to finish that process, but I am damn sh determined to make sure that other people continue the process and succeed. And that's the way to look at this thing.